Former Taipei Mayor Ke wen hip-hop video illustrates just how his somewhat quirky candidacy is mixing up the race for the Taiwan presidency. At 64 years of age, this former trauma surgeon turned third-party politician is taking on what's been an entrenched political duopoly of the incumbent DPP and the opposition KMT with a straightforward, if not unconventional, approach that polls suggest resonates with younger voters. We are different from traditional politicians. They are too fake and young people don't like that. Bloomberg News spent the better part of two days with Ke on the campaign trail, as no other outside candidate had ever given the political establishment such a formidable challenge. Why do you want to be president of Taiwan? Frankly, we shouldn't be thinking about who will be the best president of Taiwan, rather, who is the most suitable. The DPP will continue to maintain tension with China. The risk of war in Taiwan will remain, and Taiwan's economy will continue to deteriorate because China will definitely do everything possible to block Taiwan. And the KMT is too obedient to China. Therefore, they can't gain the trust of the Taiwanese people, so there needs to be someone in the middle. Ke's platform towards mainland China is built on two principles, deterrence and dialogue. Yes, he is in favor of a bigger defense budget, but that must be accompanied by better communication with Beijing. We shouldn't fantasize that we can completely change the current situation in one day. But even more, we shouldn't fantasize that if we don't do anything, the situation will change on its own. A real important principle is we have to think of a way to have dialogue with China and not just always tell them no, because after no, there is no other step. Ke also disagrees that its major chip makers like TSMC have no other step but to decouple from China and depart for other markets. It's costly and inefficient, he says, to move chip making to America or elsewhere. Defusing tension with China, he says, is the better approach. If tensions between Taiwan and mainland China continue to rise, we don't need a war. Just the tense situation is enough to result in a decline of foreign investment. A lot of rich people in Taiwan have already started to move their money away. Foreign investment doesn't dare to come in, and the outflow of capital is already causing damage to Taiwan. So that's why we must try to do as much as we can to lower the risk of war. While Ke sees himself as a straight-talking, apolitical pragmatist, he's also been dogged by questions about his personality, namely some, dare we say, uncharitable comments he's made towards women, as well as an acknowledged social awkwardness that he's self-diagnosed as a mild case of the behavioral disorder Asperger's syndrome. For a man who says he doesn't feel too comfortable in social settings, the candidate Ke has to do a lot of handshaking on the campaign trail. Good luck, sir. Do you enjoy meeting with people and talking to them, or do you have... No? no? Not too much. <laughs> I work in ICU, surgery and nurse care unit. All my patients are intubated. They cannot speak. Right. Almost, almost all, all, my, all my patients, they are intubated. Intubated, so you don't need to talk to them? I don't need to talk with them. Did it desensitize you? Almost. But to work in ICU, you must, uh, you cannot be emotional. We believe uh, in order for us to be a civilized country, our people must be rational. Cannot be bad, not too not, not emotional. For now, the accidental candidate, as Ke likes to call himself, has resonated with centrists within an otherwise polarized electorate. Simply put, he's different and direct. The trick now is to avoid any missteps inside his campaign or across the strait ahead of the election January 13th. Stephen Engel, Bloomberg News, Taipei.